Listen, I want to start with, and I mean this sincerely, I'm a really big fan of both of your work, and I just want to thank you for everything that you've done to Aww. making movies and entertaining me and Aww. the whole planet. That's Thanks, so man. Nice. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So I am curious, though, if someone has never seen anything that you've done before, mm. what is the first thing you want them watching and why? Okay, but hold on. Mm. Let's get this straight. Yes. Is it, we want them to see a movie that is just going to entertain them and we want them to see a great movie, or do we want them to see something that we think says more about that's a very us good as question. an actor. That's a very good question. Well, you see, that's the thing. Say there's like a 12-year-old who has not seen anything you've done, or a 20-year-old. 12-year-olds aren't allowed to see the films I'm in. None of them. <laughs> None of them. But you know what I mean. Is, is, there one, is there one movie or project that you've done that really, that I don't know, you want people, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, you mean like putting in your time capsule, right? The film you put in the time capsule. Do you want capsule, to laugh so. or cry? See, listen, that's the problem with your, both of your resumes are too... Um, amazing mm. uh, to pick one thing. So maybe it's tough. I don't know. I'm just, you know what I mean though? Like, I, I uh, for me, it would be uh, Good Night and Good Luck because I wrote oh, it. Oh, yes. That's well chosen. Yes. And it was about something that was important to me and it was, a, it was a tip of my hat to my father. So all those things, I think for that reason, you know, not for my acting part because I didn't have much to do with it. But, you know, that for me, it was the one that I- That's feel. a good choice. So I'm going to say- Pulp Fiction. It might be obvious. <laughs> might be. Yeah. I know that's probably yes. what George was thinking I was going to say. And then yes. I said it. I, I, I did think your performance in that was spectacular. Thank you. Oh. Almost yeah. unrecognizable as me. Really? Yes. I Honestly. Mean, and the way you danced? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, not to brag. Speaking of dancing. Well, I am curious. I, am, I, I know you've talked about the dance in this a lot, but I am curious. Um, what is it like? Because you're... I really like the beer pong sequence and everything that went into that. But what is it like before you're stepping on set, thinking about a scene like that where you need to play drunk, you need to ha be having fun on camera? Are you, you know, like, how are you getting ready before you step so on set? So I'm a set? method actor, you know, and I spent time. I just thought about all the times that George and I have sat around <laughs> drunk, laughing, dancing and thought, I know what that I looks know, like. Let's go. This. We've been prepping for this movie for, for years. 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, I was very good at the beer pong. Yes. I was very yes. good at it because they were, they brought in like guys to, to like throw the, and I was like, dude, let, let, let yeah. the master do it. Yes. You know. I'll ask you a different question then. Say on a Monday morning, you have a really emotional scene or something very dramatic, something that you know you really got to dig inside to pull it out, to deliver it on, on set. How early on before Monday are you thinking about that scene and preparing for it? And are and, and do you save the emotion for the day, or are you like sort of getting that ready prior to stepping on set? Okay, so what do you do? Do you prepare? I am going to say I think about it a lot, um, but I don't. I wouldn't say that I prepare emotionally, as it were, until the day. Mm -hmm. Until the day. Yeah, I think the secret is always specifically to know, to really have your lines down, mm -hmm. Pat, because you don't want to be searching for that. And then everything else, I think, because, you know, that's why rehearsals sometimes are so, don't work, uh, is because you can be rehearsing here. A lot of times you'll come to a hotel room and rehearse a scene. We we would talk about this on other th projects we've done. And and all of the elements that you have when you're doing it here, once you get on the set with, different, with the real actors and with the real set and with everything else going on, can be completely different. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes it's about understanding the basics and then getting into the room and letting uh, whatever happens happen. On that note, I need to go. I'm just gonna say again, thank you so much for entertaining me for so long. Um, and I hope this is a huge hit for you guys. Thank, thank you. you.